So what's the next step then? Could it be that we as light workers and empathic, sensitive individuals are naturally drawn to and end up feeding on or making deep connections based on negativity, negative, uh, uh, like focusing on negative things and really commiserating and sharing and being that vortex of negative appreciation, appreciating all the things that we mutually hate or mutually are annoyed by or mutually want to get rid of. How can we then, sources say, shift from a, po from a negative focus to a positive focus? Why is source asking this question of, do you feed on negative energy? In the energy, the spirits are saying, we're asking this question, first as always, to open you up to what could possibly be going on. But also, in addition to that, the energy is asking, could you be feeding on negative energy because you might be stuck in a cycle of self-sabotage right now. This is especially to certain people in the tribe who are wondering, why do I keep attracting the same kinds of people who are just takers? Or why do I keep attracting people who dump on me? What did I ever do to deserve this? Did I do something bad in another lifetime that I'm paying for, that all of this crap keeps happening to me, right? Or why do I keep attracting this and this being a situation that is like a challenge or feeling stuck or the same pattern happening? If you're noticing that there are loop cycles in your life, source asking this rhetorical question to help you sensitize to what your role is in creating this situation. You could be feeding on negativity as a way to connect or a way to engage, right? We've been taught that focusing on negativity together brings a sense of togetherness, where a, a mutual frustration is a strong bond of vulnerability. Unfortunately, though, it is based in a state of victimhood and fear. And I'm hearing the oracle cards now calling in the energy to really help us understand what can we do then to shift our state from feeding on negativity, unconscious, unaware feeding on negativity, by the way. So many people are going to watch this video and be like, ah, that's not me. Keep, keep a separate eyeball out. I know you have two or three. <laughs> if you're watching this, you probably have three. But grow another one. <laughs> and specifically be on the extra eyeball lookout for am I feeding on negativity or am I relating to people and really forming bonds based on a negative focus vortex of appreciation. The Oracle Cards deck that came through in the energy this week is the Archangel Oracle Cards. High vibrational beings Archangels are. And it's, it's good that we speak to them and really channel their energy because we need an uplift. We need something to pull us up energetically so that we can best understand how to shift our states around kicking the addiction to feeding on negative energy. Okay. So, again, shuffling the cards and allowing spirit to come through, archangels of communication, guidance. Please come to us and let us know, how can we shift our states to stop focusing on negativity? This one really is standing out right now. Remember who you are. Archangel Michael is coming through for us. He's pretty reliable. <laughs> oh, he is such an incredible bright presence, most commonly spoken to and spoken of Archangel out of all of the pantheon of Archangels. Archangel Michael. 
You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So what I'm first hearing the angel saying in the energy is that when you remember who you really are, you decide to see from that point of view. There is so much more to your energy as well as all of our energies than just focusing on negative vibrations, negative occurrences, drama, right? Also, if you remember who you really are as a child of God and as a divine presence yourself, you wouldn't allow anyone to dump on you. If you really are a sacred being and you step into that truth as being a sacred being, that's out of the question. This is hollowed ground right here. You don't dump on hollowed ground. No, you wouldn't even think twice of that. In fact, hollowed ground is a protected sacred space, right? So honoring yourself as a spiritual and sacred being. Right quick, let's see if there's anything in the channeling in the book. You are made in the image and likeness of your creator. So you embody all aspects of your divine nature. Your inner divine light is pure and bright in truth and no mistakes can undo God's handiwork of true perfection in you. Don't be afraid of your power, your magnificence, or your wisdom. When you succeed, you inspire others. When you change your life so that it's more aligned with your interests, you inspire others. Be powerful, be magnificent, this is who you really are, and this is where we're going to leave you on this topic of do you feed on negative energy. If you notice that you are feeding on negative energy, and most energy workers and light workers, by the way, do, whether you're not aware of it right now, I just want you to be sensitive to the fact that you're at a very high probable risk of feeding on negative energy. When you notice that, realize that this is happening because you're not giving yourself permission to be powerful and magnificent. Instead, we're playing small. We're afraid of our power. So that's why rather than stepping into a positive focus, no matter what is happening in front of you, because the universe is rearranging itself in your best interest at any given moment, Right? Rather than stepping into that greatness, no, we'll fall back on social convention of, oh yeah, it's a terrible day out and blah, 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 or oh, oh yeah, that person is really ridiculous, let me tell you about it. You go down a notch because you're afraid to stick out and be bright with a positive focus and feeding yourself only positive energy and focusing only on positive energy, even if other people come up and try to make heart connections with you based in fear and victimhood. You can do this. It is absolutely possible. So be kind to yourself. If you're afraid to go that route, you can do it. Just remember who you really are. So right now I'm sending you a tremendous amount of love. I see you as you are, as a divine and spiritual being. And I'm seeing you big hugs and kisses. Mwah! See you next week. Bye.